dancing is in the sport? I have. I've been dancing for four years now, and when people ask me what sport do you play, my answer is always that I dance. After answering the question, usually three out of five times I get asked, I get looked at like I'm crazy. Um, so clearly there is a question to peop in people's minds as to why I dance in the sport or not. Dancers must be extremely athletic, they must be able to practice for hours on end, and train in ex an extremely competitive environment, just like other athletes on various sports teams. Before I can begin my argument, it's critical to define what a sport actually means. According to the Farlex Dictionary, the word sport is defined as a physical activity that is governed by a set of rules or customs and often engaged in competitively. Dance completely matches with this definition of a sport because every day we dancers are competing. I'm on, a co I'm on the Copperhead Jill team and we learn new dances either every week or each week, depending on what we're forming for that week. I have to compete in tryouts for my swatch each and every dance that we do. Um, this involves a lot of dedication from us dancers because it's our responsibility to practice if we don't get the dance the first time. Dancers have many similarities with the athletes. For example, athletes must prepare for each and every event that they participate in. Athletes can't succeed if they don't have mental focus and physical strength before their events. The same goes for us dancers. We face long hours of conditioning, rehearsals, and never-ending repetition of movements and steps. In order for dancers to perfect a single movement, they must repeat it until their body has memorized it perfectly and that they can perform it flawlessly. Albert Einstein once said, dancers are the athletes of God. Even people who are not dancers also believe that dancers should be considered a sport. For example, back in the summer of 2010, the Gatorade Foundation officially recognized dancers as athletes. Lo Lauren Froderman, winner of the popular professional dance um, TV show, So You Think You Can Dance, was featured as uh, the Gatorade's first dancer athlete in her own print campaign. Another way us dancers should be considered athletes is the way we face a big risk for injury. Dance is physically demanding and it requires flexibility, balance, stamina, rhythm, time control, and memorization. We spend hours of doing physically exhausting jumps and turns until our muscles give out one by one, along with hours of throwing our bodies on the ground just to notice green and purple bruises the very next day. Athletes compete in competitions all the time. The same goes for our dancers. We work hard all year, and then when competition season sets in, the real craziness begins. Competitive, uh, competitive dancing was ranked 14th out of 100 of the hardest sports according to the website called the Top 10. This is a thing us dancers work hard for all year long. During this time, the dancers are com dancers are constantly learning new dances and technique. We are constantly trying to improve our technique as well. At competition, you aren't going against one team like in other sports, but tons of studios at once competing for the one top prize. While competition, you have to perform in front of an audience and in front of judges. When performing, as dancers have to make sure we execute our moves properly, we have to make correct facial expressions, and we have to have correct timing. Dancers are some of the best overall athletes because we have to have flexibility, we have to have upper and lower body strength, we, have to, we must be able to play our sport while keeping a smile on our face the entire time. Us dancers go through a lot of the same things as other sports do. So we shouldn't be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. To watch a dancer perform is the easiest thing in the world, but to actually be that person sitting there at competition or at the football games or any other performance we do, it's, e it's just like the difficult thing in the world. The famous, dan no. the famous dancer Tanya Gray once said, dance requires an equal amount of energy, strength, and endurance as any other sport, but in addition you have to look beautiful and flawless and make it appear effortless. 